Welcome guys to another video. In today's video we're going to be ruining Camila. I've uh, been getting a lot of requests lately to ruin her. I, I'm not too sure why, but I really like using her and I just... I've been farming a lot of 6 star runes and I feel like I finally have enough to upgrade her set. So if you are interested in that, then make sure you... Uh, Watch the rest of this video. Okay guys, so here we are. This is my um, Camila right now. This is what I use whenever I do use Camila. She's good in basically everything in the game. You can use her as a healer. Uh, yeah, because she, uh, she heals with this skill and she cleanses debuffs and you know, all that good stuff. She also attack breaks, so it makes the bosses hit less. And yeah, so there's a couple ways you can ruin her. You can ruin her in just full HP and just have her with like 80k HP, 90k even if you want. You would have to have really good HP subs on all your runes if you want to get her to 90k, but I think it's doable. I mean... Mine is almost hitting 80 and she's not actually on an HP build. I mean, she's triple HP, but I didn't actually try to get HP on everything. At least not good HP subs. I wanted crit rate and crit damage because I use her as a damage dealer. You already know if you've watched my previous videos, I don't ruin anything for support. And when I mean anything, I mean literally not a single unit for support besides Galleon. I have. Yeah, so, I mean, it's tough to find something that I don't have room for damage. And yeah. I mean, even Iona, she has pretty high crit and crit damage. And she, uh, she's not even about that life. But it's just how it is in my account. That's just how I like things. I like, uh, things being useful and I don't really like units just standing there being meat shields because that's just not what I'm about. So if you want a Camila that uh, will help you do more than just stand there then you should definitely watch this video. Okay so like I said there's a uh, multiple ways to ruin Camila. You can ruin her full energy, full guard, uh, you can ruin her fatal, you can even ruin her swift. Foresight is a really good one because she's a main tank. So if she's evading everything that the enemy is doing, then she's going to have more time to uh, heal. However, if you do rune her that way, her passive, which helps her heal, won't activate as much. But when she does get hit and she does get crit, she will heal. So, I mean, you can kind of debate it because eventually they will hit her. And they'll probably crit her so she'll heal herself. And if she's evading the whole time, she's probably going to be doing Night Revival and the rest of her skills. So I had her on Evasion before and she was pretty good. However, I switched her to a Rage Blade build because I wanted a lot of HP, decent attack and decent defense with decent crit rate and decent crit damage. So this is the build I went with. However, usually... When I do these videos, I just show you guys how to rune it. But since we're transitioning from 5-star runes to 6-star runes, I'm going to show you guys how to actually, or how I go about ruining my units. So let's do 6-star runes. I did have a build that I wanted to go with, again, with the Endurer. Let's see. Uh, it's right here. So... I wanted to go with this. These runes aren't maxed and she's already going to have way more power than she had before because the 6 star runes are a little crazy. But I was going to rune her HP, crit damage, attack since she's not getting the crit damage from the rage set. I wanted to get crit damage from this but I still wanted her to have decent crit rate. And the crit damage will be kind of lacking but the HP and everything else will be higher. And she'll have higher power overall. Plus she'll have 70 plus evasion which is good. 
but I'm not too sure if I want to go with this build. I mean, it's a decent build. I just, I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. I like Rage better, but I'll have to try both builds out. I mean, eventually, if I don't use this set, I can probably put it on my Bastet or something. So, it's not a bad set to level up, at least. And I might level it up just to compare the two. I could also put it on Annabelle. So, yeah, we'll see. But either way, let's uh, let's get down to it. I am um, since this is a different way of a uh, how to ruin video. I would appreciate if you guys let me know down below if you prefer me doing it this way. That way, you can get more of a way to see how I ruin my units, or if you just prefer the other way where I just kind of show you basically how to build it. I think this way you'll probably learn a little bit more but it is a little bit more expensive so the videos will take a little bit longer since i have to farm gold which isn't really an issue but uh sky stones are so let's see so we're going to go rage right first of all you want to decide the unit that you are ruining so you look at the skills her first skill is based off attack so we want decent attack her second skill is based off attack and HP, so you want a lot of HP and attack. You also want a lot of HP and defense because she is a tank. And this skill just heals. Again, HP. I don't think this is based off her HP, but it's just a heal. So you want her to be tanky, which is HP and defense. And this one just makes her super tanky because it decreases the damage she takes and the damage her summoner takes. And it also heals her by 5% of her max HP. So again, you want her to have a lot of HP and decent defense. So when she does get hit, it doesn't do as much. And you want to have decent attack. for Because her skills are also based off attack. But it's not really that important. Unless you're building her like a damage dealer like I am. Then you kind of want to put some attack on her. So if you if you choose to go the tanky way... I would say just focus on defense and HP and maybe some accuracy so she can land that attack break. You want max resistance and maybe max evasion if you're going for the tank build. That way she doesn't die. But if you're doing a damage dealer build like me, you want to focus on all of three of these stats. You can put some speed on her too if you want. It wouldn't hurt. That way she can uh, has a higher chance to kill units and activate this passive more. I want to put some speed on her, but I, it's not really that important, to be honest. And then you also want to get at least 70% crit rate, and crit damage can be, I would say, at least 130%. But if you can get it over 100, that's fine. You want her to have some decent precision, which they usually do. And if you have any other stat, like uh, resistance and evasion, then that's just a plus. So, now that I said all that, let's get down to actually ruining the unit. Okay, so since we're going Rage, and she's based off HP, let's go crit rate and HP percent as the subs, because that's what we're looking for, HP and decent crit rate. She's already going to get the crit damage from the blade set, so any extra crit damage that you get will be an extra. Her base crit damage is really low, so that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So, let's see. So the only runes that are blade and crit damage that I see that have HP and crit rate are these. This isn't um actually great. I was hoping for more choices, but this will be fine. For now, we'll see how it turns out at the very end. So let's uh, let's look at the. So again, these are the three stats we want, which are HP, flat HP helps out, and crit rate. Again, crit rate, HP, and precision, three stats that we want again. And down here, the legendary rune. This rune can possibly be very good depending on what it rolls. And these three should 
also be what we're looking for. This rune seems to be the best just because it has 3S substats. This one is not too great. This one is also very good. And again, this one is also very good for her. But I think we're going to go with this one. I'm not too sure. Now at this point, you want to roll the runes and see how they go. So we're just going to go with a rage rune here. See how it ends up going. These are runes that I chose to keep. So I don't mind run um i don't mind rolling them because i'm going to use these runes anyway so you know it's fine so this one went nine percent crit rate 13 percent hp we're not even going to look at the resistance this one 14 hp eight percent crit rate and this one 13 percent crit rate and 12 percent hp however this one will give us the higher HP out of all of them, but these have resistance. And do we actually care about resistance? Probably not. So we're going to go with this one. Okay. And now this one. How expensive is it to... Oh, well, it's not too bad. Let's do it. Ooh, 22% HP and 9% crit rate. So this rune is basically the one we're going to use right now. Uh, I don't think this one will roll any better, but... Ooh, this one's more balanced. So maybe if we're needing quit rate at the end, we'll switch over to this one. However, right now... Let's see. Oh yeah, definitely using this one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now that we don't have any other slots with HP percent, we're going to take one of these off. So, first of all, I want to see if I have any slots. Let's take this off and apply. Now, I want to see if we have any slot 2 HP percent, so... There we go. Not for this one, but we do have two for rage. So let's see. HP percent, crit rate and attack speed with a flat attack. This isn't great, but it's not bad. And this one is better. However, we have to roll them to plus nine, I would say. And it just went one roll in all the stats, which isn't great. How about you? You want flat attack ones. That's also not great. So that sucks. But I think we're going to go with this one. This rune is like insane. So let's do that. Okay. Now do we have any slot 4 HP percent? Nope. Slot 6. We do have a blade slot 6. Or a couple of them. Okay, so there's an HP one that I rolled before. It has defense. It has a really high flat HP roll. A uh, decent attack percent roll. And it has okay crit rate. I mean, it could be better. And then we have another one. Crit rate and attack. And this one might be one that we're looking for. I know this one's really good. But if it keeps rolling crit damage, we might take this one if Camila is uh, missing some crit damage. So let's see. Okay, so that did roll crit damage again. This one is one roll off of a... Ooh. I guess we'll uh, have to come back to this. Let's give this one a chance. Ooh, flat HP. Okay, so... These two runes are uh, competing with each other right now. Basically, do I want more crit damage or do I want more attack? So let's just equip the legendary rune for now. Okay, you see that HP? That's crazy. So we need another blade rune. However, we don't have a slot uh, 4 for either of them. So... 
let's see if we just do this okay what do we have for this crit rate defense crit rate attack percent crit rate with really balanced stats this actually wouldn't be too bad However, if we do add this one, it's going to be a waste of stats, basically, if any of these keep rolling crit rate. But what this rune opens up to us, if we do choose to equip it, which we probably will since I don't seem to have anything better. Unless we want to go full, uh, you know, attack percent and defense percent. which we do not so unless i want to put a five star rune which i really don't want to i guess we are going to go with the uh 100 percent query camila which isn't great but it's not too bad i guess that means we can take some more uh liberties with the rest of these runes and then let's uh choose this one this one has to be query this is okay rune this is okay so since we did put crit rate it opens us the opportunity to use runes like these that don't have crit rate on them just because we do have a crit rate rune on there but i'm not too sure at the moment let's see do we have any crit damage so we do have crit damage and that didn't go the way I wanted it to go, sadly. Let's see here. No crit damage. This one does have crit damage. This one has potential. There you go, 22% crit damage. But this is a pretty good rune, right? This is a 30%. But the crit damage is looking kind of flimsy. Um... Maybe we don't have to go crit or uh, blade since we already have max crit damage. So let's see. Let's go here. Crit damage. Do I have any runes? Actually, the runes she had before had decent crit damage, right? This one might be decent. Yeah, speed. Where is the rune she had before? Uh, preset. Was it this? No. This one. Where's that one? This one? Was it? No, it was attack. Uh, okay. Let's, um, back out of this real quick. Rune. Let's see this. Is it just not here? Do I have... Oh. Does it not have crit damage? I guess it doesn't. Well, that sucks. So, we're missing a lot of crit damage. Because I don't have a crit rate rune. Or a crit damage rune. So, what you do here is look in your other runes to see if you can have something and i did have a crit damage rune for this so maybe instead of ruining her with blade we'll rune her with a uh, foresight and see how that turns out so obviously we just took a hit in crit rate and let's see this way let's uh prioritize crit rate now nine 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 let's see uh rage this one has decent crit damage flat defense though okay we don't have one of these but we do have a foresight rune with crit rate it's attack though that might be okay though since we're replacing this rune is really good though i really don't want to switch this out 
Um, let's see if we can uh, somehow do this. Crit damage. Do I really not have any rage runes with crit damage sub? Hmm. Five stars? Let's uh, take the crit damage sub down. Crit rate, crit rate, crit damage. Crit damage, HP, and crit damage. So we might have to put this five star on just because I do want to keep this rune on. And when we do get a crit damage six star, I'll probably end up putting it here. But for now, I guess this is just how it's going to be. And let's see. Crit rate and attack speed. Precision. This one might not be too bad. We do need a blade rune here though. Unless we have a... So this is when you just look at your other runes. To see if any of them have potential to replace this rune. Uh, this one has potential as long as it ignores the flat defense. Which it did and that's insane. So... It's 12. 12? Yeah, that's 12. You can see I'm going through a lot of resources right now. Resistance, that's not great. However, this does kind of fix our crit rate problem a little bit. So, or our crit damage problem a little bit. So let's go with that. Which means that we're going to need a crit rate rune. Or a blade rune for the other stats. So, let's see. This one is a pretty bad rune, I would say. This is okay. This one is pretty good. Can it roll crit rate again, though, please? Okay, so... Now we're talking. Uh, this one is also very good. Ooh. Now you're giving me what I want. Um... How does she look with this rune on? 69. I don't really like that. But she does have really good crit damage now. Which kind of makes me want to do crit rate on here like we had before. Ooh, now, now we're getting somewhere. See, you just have to keep trying things until something works out. So, obviously the crit damage isn't great. But, it's getting there. What is this? It's going to go up 8%. That will make it have 97 crit rates. Which isn't bad let's see what you unlock at 12 attack speed that's also not bad and this is probably the worst rune hp not bad so maybe we just uh load up her subs with uh crit damage stuff and see if we can push it up to 130 like i said this might be interesting. Oof, this is getting expensive. So let's do that. 96. Um, I believe I can go here though. Rune succession. Let's see, Camila. Are you anywhere around here? Um, would she be up here? Um, okay. Yeah, so let's see if, is this cheaper? Maybe we can use some of my old runes. Uh, it's cheaper stone-wise, but I believe this is a little bit more expensive. And that's only going to give it one level. That sucks. This will give it two, and it's cheaper. I don't really plan on using um, 
five stars anymore, so that's fine. This will also transfer the books, which is pretty cool, but it's really expensive and I am running out of stones. But it'll be okay. Uh, I think we're just going to do this one. What does this look like? Uh, yeah, it's not great. So let's do that. Sure. Okay, so what did this... Oh, it's just stayed the same. Never mind. Okay, that's one Camilla rune. Let's do another one. HP, credit rates. I guess that doesn't actually matter. I'm just trying to max these out. Okay, that's two Camilla runes. This one's maxed out. This one will take it up to 14 again. I mean, if I can get any of them with crit damage, why not, right? It seems like the lower tier the rune is the more expensive it is that's kind of weird so let's just uh let's just do these and then i think we do have one more that's plus 12 i do have a lot of runes i always level up my runes so i love that they added this i just need to uh afk farm somewhere so i can destroy a million runes so she's at 117 power now, which is kind of crazy because she was at like 105 before. And these runes aren't even maxed yet. So she's easily going to go past 120. And they don't really even have books on them. So that's good. Uh, let's just max these out. What does it cost? Oof. This is steep. Oh, well. Okay, we'll max that one. This one might be... A little steeper okay so i mean it is what it is for now i don't think i have enough stones to max the rest of them out which kind of sucks maybe we can get rid of some of these how much do i even get 70 and i need like 500 yeah yeah that's not gonna happen so we'll just leave it at that for now Maybe I can uh, craft some books and stuff real quick. So I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, here we go. So I did uh, end up maxing out her runes. And now we have a 122k power Camila. I did craft uh, some uh, books and whatever those things are called. And most of them are crit damage. However, once I got past 130 crit damage which I have 143. I did put some more attack subs on her because she benefits from that. I mean, 96 crit rate, 143 crit damage, 77 K HP, 2,700 defense, and 2,400 attack. And she's not even 15 yet. Once she gets to a 15, she'll be at 131 and she'll have way better stats. Now we are here in the hero or the uh, training area and let's see what she can do. So let's do that. So 4k or let's do this one. That way I know it's actually her damage. Can you uh, do your thing Camila please? Stop following me. There you go. Missed the crit somehow. So 3.4, not bad. Our first skill, 16k. Yep, 16k. And then her cleanse, which doesn't really do anything. How about with attack buff and defense break? Where's Galleon? Okay, can you do your thing, bud? 7k basic attack. And 32k with her AoE, which is an aoe and that's why it's kind of weak let's see galleon get your thing all right so let's do this galleon put up his thing and boom boom so 32k to everybody and she's attack breaking so not too bad i mean these are just basic units but you can see how she can do damage with the stats that she has right now 
I know this is going to be a longer video just because I went through basically how I ruin things. I know that I uh, seem to ramble a lot here and there, but I'm probably going to leave it in the video just so you can kind of see how ruining units goes. I mean, that's what this video showed is how I ruin my units. So every single one of my units, I've basically just sat here rambling to myself to see what was better. I do need to A15 her though. That's kind of bothering me now. But uh, yeah, so it was uh, really expensive. I uh, believe I had 200 something sky stones and probably a, a million more gold. So if you are going to farm 6 star runes, keep in mind that it's super expensive to max them out. I have maxed her out so far. And I kind of started to do her. I'm still missing one rune here. And these are only plus 12 and they don't have any books and stuff. But she's turning out decently. 97 evasion and all that. But this is a whole nother video we're talking about. But for Camila, this is probably going to be it. The only step I have left is to uh, A15 her. So... If you did enjoy this video and if you like this way of how to ruin videos better than the other way. I know the video is a little bit longer but I feel like it helps out a little bit more. If you do like it this way make sure you leave a comment down below letting me know that way I can make the future videos this way. And I hope that this helped all of you who have been asking me how to ruin Van or Camila. Because there's been more than... I think five of you who have asked me to ruin this unit so yeah if you enjoyed it make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe and here's to hoping that they show her some love and give her a skin because uh i would love a skin for these guys and yeah thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed it